you, well, the cop pulls him over. Says there's supposed to be a red thing on the back of your, of your lumber. He gets out of the truck and walks to the back. He says, well, there's the staples from the lumber yard. They, they staple the thing on here. It must have fall off. He says, okay, okay, you're good for that. But uh, we'll talk to you. You okay? You be like, uh, you, I, I see a bunch of paint cans in your trucks and paint thinner and stuff. Are you feeling okay? Come sit down for a minute. He's like, why? What's going on? He says, I, I think you're, uh, I think maybe you've been breathing in the, the paint thinner, the paint fumes. Just sit down for 10 minutes or whatever. I forget how many minutes it was. The cop sits there and talks to him for like 10, 20 minutes. Gets back in the truck, drives away. He was smashed. He was smashed. And because he was smashed, he had knocked around the fucking paint cans and shit. Windows rolled up in the truck. So when he fucking rolled down the window, whoosh, paint thinner. You know what I'm saying? So the cop knew he was under the influence of a, of a, of a, of a substance, but not getting high and drunk. This is what can happen to people. When you're not, if you go into that beer store, sometimes he probably was getting intoxicated from the fumes too. Huh. Well, yeah, it will, it will. But he was already drunk, whiskey or some shit. That beer store over there. Sometimes you go in, and with all the empties they're smashing, there's still alcohol in it. It evaporates. With all the windows and everything closed, uh, when you go in there, you're breathing in alcohol fumes. It goes directly into your bloodstream. You can get drunk like instantly walking into that oh, store. Yeah. Remember the thing on the internet? Kids were baby. Where are the guys that work there are so talkative, eh? Sometimes. The 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 the, 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 the woman took two minutes to count out four dollars and twenty cents. But she gave me $2.40, then took another two minutes to give me the correct change. Oh, fuck, I, I saw one guy walk in there. The guy just asked him how many cans he had. He said, fucking 120. Gave him the money. If it's in a big... Didn't even count it. No, if it's in it, no, they do inside. If it's in a big bag... Here's the thing, if you come by semi-regularly, and they know you don't fuck around, like, that big bag probably somebody counted on the inside if they really wanted to. Yeah. But they go by the weight anyway. They sell that for scrap baby. Oh, yeah, fuck okay. So sometimes it's a matter of it costing more than if, if it's well, how far off could it be because these guys do this job every day if you crush them up or if you don't crush them up they can tell how many's in the bag True. Yeah. they can estimate my my uncles and shit used to be able to do that with scrap metal. oh yeah oh fuck. they could look at your truck and tell you within 100 pounds what a weight like they knew each other's trucks but then shit but they could tell you how much weight of, of metal on the truck you had within 100 pounds oh, yeah. it was a game they played when they would go to the scrap yard the guy would come back holding the receipt and it would be within 100 pounds of what my uncle said. Oh yeah, you know, shit like that. I'm not, I, I don't make this shit up. That's that now, see, if you don't see me doing things that I know how to do, it's because we did like my family- Like scrapping squats. <laughs> my family won't, oh Jesus, you know the Knobhill Farms? So my family, oh I'm sorry. My family won't uh, work with appliances anymore, at all. They don't want nothing to do with it. That Knobhill Farms that used to be down there, that is a classic. Holy fuck, that's an old school car. What kind of car was that? It's either a fox or a rabbit, but it doesn't have the that's back. A rabbit. It's either a fox or a rabbit, and I don't remember which one. Because oh, that's awesome, man. My uncle had one that was red, and I, it had only had the one mirror on the on the driver's side. Yeah. And I can I think it was a rabbit, but he kept, I, they kept mixing up the two names because it was the same car, basically that one. It was the English language name for the car. In my this favorite car. car is the uh, Cutlass Supreme. Cutlass Supreme. Somebody's oh, yeah. getting hit by a train. Wait till that. Oh shit! Somebody's getting hit by a train when they do that. Oh fuck! That's what that was, bro. You think it was Buddy? No. Because there's construction workers up and down True. this thing, and there's a there's a guy in that shed. The other one just has a camera. But there's a guy in the shed here at this intersection during the day. What's he doing? Watching the? He visually confirms that the train has gone by and cleared the track. Oh. Okay, so it's okay, good. This, the, the, the system tells them that anyway, but if yeah. he's standing there and confirms the same thing, then they can keep the trains running even if the system I always fails. I walk down there in the evening, I never see anybody in the fucking box. No, no, there's no, you can't see in the box. box. No, 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 there's a, there's a metal box and then you can't see in it. Oh. You can't see in it. I just happen to know that I've seen the guy come in and out of that box throughout his shift because my window overlooks that and then they build this wall. What does he have, security, security cameras and TV screens inside the there's, box? There's cameras up and down this railroad line. Yeah, there's no cameras at this intersection, but there's cameras at every intersection around here. Because here's what I do. Listen, I walk down the tracks this way. I have, I, this, I have this sneaking suspicion that the U.S. The, uh, Department of Defense is mad at me for trying to upload videos because my account on YouTube just got knocked last night. And I had two videos deleted of this thing by accident while I'm trying to copy them. Everything got taken down? No, 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 no. Oh. I can't post videos till fucking October, apparently. What? I don't know. Is that because, dude... I used a bad word because I thought somebody used a bad word on me, and apparently I can't do that. So, but that's that's neither here nor there. But. Was someone? I, I suspect to... that it's just well, what it is is uh, they have to keep all this shit here secure. 
they don't want cameras at this intersection. I, I, did, I did check your, they don't your want, channel out, actually. There's yeah. six fucking videos there and none more. One of them's deleted for hate speech. That's what it says if you go to it. Deleted for hate speech. No, no, check this out. Which, if, if you use a racial slur on me and I tell somebody else, I'm the one committing hate speech. What the fuck? That's happened to me over and over on Facebook to the point where I gave up. Do you think that there's robots scanning oh, what you say and, like, detecting okay, listen, swear words? Well, listen, on my channel, I'll tell you how it works. You know the closed captioning? If you as if you select the language when you upload the video, so I select English because the system knows English. Oh, fuck. It will automatically create captions for your video. Oh, fuck. And there's a checkbox you can check to say, uh... That's fucking retarded, man. There's a checkbox you can check that says, uh, don't allow potentially offensive words. Because maybe you're not using an offensive word, but if the system misreads it, then you don't want it to say fuck and pussy and all that shit on the screen, right. if that's not what you're really okay. saying. Yeah. But here's the crazy part. You say pussy cat, and it'll be brackets cat. It'll it'll block out, because it doesn't know for sure what you meant. What happened in the video that they took down? Uh, some guy was so scared of me that as I'm trying to go towards the gutter, picking up the garbage and shit, he fucking went into the road so fast that he almost got hit by a car. Okay, as I was starting to walk this way, he saw me and flipped out and started walking into Like, I know he was scared of me. And no it's, not on, it's not up anymore? They deleted it. It doesn't matter. Fuck. Well, actually, it still exists. But if they, if they, if they, if they're not going to put it back, I know what they did. They don't want video cameras on this intersection because people can hack the camera and see and coordinate an attack on fucking something down there. That's what it is. The exclusion, oh. the exclusion zone around a nuclear facility is a thousand meters. That's the standard exclusion zone, which means you can't live there. This is not a reactor. However, he's freaking out. Who? No, no, he's bothering. He's bothering. No, 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 I know he's bothering. Oh, yeah. I know he's bothering. If this ring doesn't do that, those people are bothering. Oh, yeah. God, does not go and recycle. Fuck, I did. I did check out your channel and you did use the word uranium city or something. Oh, yeah. That might be the term they fucking hate. Yeah, well, they don't want people to know about this shit, man. No, no, it's not these guys that care or don't care. Everybody's got a strategic interest in this fucking place. Everybody has a military strategic interest in this fucking place. A thousand meters around any nuclear plant is typically the exclusion zone, which means nobody lives there. You're now, right, man. Now, the thing is, they put this in a city in 1953 when this here was a suburb of Toronto and nobody fucking lived here except crazy hobos and people that worked on the railroad up in the junction. That's it. That's how we get bus lines up here. Because you don't drive to the railroad, why would you? You're going to be in a different town for three days and come back again. Yeah. You know? You're smart enough to get money by working for them. Why would you spend it on a car you don't have to or whatever? Or if you own it. It's like taking uh, the up transit. Like, why would you drive to the airport and leave your car there for three weeks if you can just take a train? That, that plant is probably making this neighborhood more heat score, you know? There's probably lots of camera systems and military interest. No, no, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I can walk down to Wallace with your uh, laptop right now and show you. There's four webcams on the phone poles. Oh, there's yeah? four there's four black webcams, little circle things on each of the corners. At that intersection, but not this one. At that intersection, but not this one. See what I'm saying? Here. No, it's not. Why? They can see everything coming into this neighborhood, but you can't hack this and see it remotely. Only people on the ground can see what's happening here. Think about it. Even the civilian cops have cameras all over them on their cars and their bodies, but they are not transmitting. They log that shit for later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no live security cameras here. Anyway, unless they have to. They can they, they see, what, but do you think the food basics is like, here, Mr. DOD, here's our live feed for the day? That's not how it works. Yeah. But, but, you can find a uh, over there. That's a uh, Defender 110. And it says TD5. I don't know what that means. They usually come with gas engines. I wonder if it's a five cylinder. But in any event. There's a, the, there's a, I forget uh, which part of uh, the U.S. Go I, because I'm born in Canada, but I'm connected to the U.S. and the Dutch and everything else, I, there's a lot of words that mean different things in the same fucking thing, but, um, they were all, they, like, ten, five, like, more than five years ago, but within the last ten, because I lived here, they were, they were talking about how they're linking up the, uh, all these, so now that the security cameras are all basically Ethernet or Wi-Fi cameras, Think of Skynet for a second. They're hooking them up so that uh, Department of Homeland Security, that's who it oh, is. Yeah. Now listen to me very carefully. Department oh, yeah. of Homeland Security wants to know everything that's happening around this building. Yeah. 
Okay, the 9-11 the hijackers, two of them lived on Jameson Avenue. Two of